Very serious allegations have surfaced this week against the former Secretary General of the United Nations, Kurt Voldheim. Voldheim is now running for the presidency of Austria. Recently released photographs and documents link Waldheim to two Nazi groups and to a general who was hanged for sending thousands to their deaths in concentration camps. This is the sound of skeletons falling out of the closet. You are traitors. You should keep quiet and stay in Israel. Where were you in the war? You did shoot Jews. Admit it. Still, the issue remains. How serious are the charges against Kurt Waldheim, and what effect will they have on Austria's voters? Next month, the voters will decide. When the issue of Waldheim came up, and there were those people, including myself, who said, Simon, condemn him. And he said no, because he felt Waldheim did not rise to the level of a Nazi criminal. In one press conference and interview after another, Wiesenthal tried to explain his position to no avail. He believed that his views on Waldheim's character were being distorted. I know that some people, maybe between you or maybe other people, will think that I'm coming here to, to protect Mr. Waldheim. No, believe me, no. When I present a case, the document should be hard, very hard. The language, very moderate. If not, people would say you are a hater and we don't believe you. No greater disaster could come by calling a person a Nazi war criminal, taking him to court, and having the court acquit him for lack of evidence. On that, Simon Wiesenthal was absolutely right. But to take no action at all, we felt, was also not appropriate because he was a man who certainly knew better he rose through the ranks to become the Secretary General of the United Nations. We had a disagreement, Simon Wiesenthal and the center, about whether Kurt Waldheim should be placed on the watch list. Responding to a public outcry in the United States, congressional hearings were held to investigate whether or not Kurt Waldheim should be placed on the so-called Nazi watch list, an act that would bar him permanently from the United States. Based on your findings, is it your view that Dr. Waldheim is, in fact, guilty of committing war crimes? What we know is that Waldheim is an indicted Nazi war criminal. We are fairly optimistic that the answer will be found right here at the U.S. National Archives. You cannot accuse and later look for documents. This is not a way of justice. And we should never mix politics with justice. Despite being elected Austria's president, Kurt Waldheim was not allowed to visit the United States, even on official business. Professors and experts on the Holocaust, and I think one or two Nuremberg prosecutors came up with the conclusion that Waldheim's activities did not rise to the level of a Nazi criminal, which is the conclusion that Simon came to. It would have been so easy for Simon to condemn him. That's all he had to do, join the bandwagon. But he said that then I sacrificed everything I stood for.